What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Stadium walkthrough. Okay, so, we defeated Sabrina, and now it is finally time to get to the last two gym leaders, and trust me, they're gonna be difficult, because, uh, this is like, what, my fourth, fifth take on this gym? Yeah, not so happy. Let's get her done, okay. So, off screen, I did say that I was going to, uh, you know, train up a few Pokemon, uh, teach them some new moves, flip-flop, you know, from Crystal and all that stuff, and I did. I, you know, exchanged a few Pokemon that I needed just for this occasion right here. We're going to be taking on Cinnabar Gym, and, well, the messed up part about the Cinnabar Gym is that, well, the three trainers we have to face, they're not exactly Fire-type Gym Laners. They're not. They are assholes. A Fighting-type uh, Trainer. A psychic type trainer and a uh, bit of a kamikaze trainer. Now you you'll get what I'm saying when we're taking on Super Nerd right here because, yeah. Now as you can see, uh, you can see a cartridge right there. It says unknown. That is Pokemon Crystal. I actually, I actually have a uh, Pokemon Crystal at the first slot because of Pokemon Stadium too. You guys will see that a little bit later, but we already know we're gonna be going into Pokemon Yellow, and well, we have to do something about this gym because. It is friggin' ridiculous on how we can't just beat these guys. So, if we can't, if it's not broken, then why why ba basically fix it with Ultra Psycho? And, uh, well, let's see. To me, it just looks like we're gonna have to be using a lot of power right here. Hydra, let's go right ahead with that guy. Uh, Hurricane is looking like a good Pokemon right now, but... Yeah, that's not, that's not really a Pokemon that I kind of want to use right now. And then, uh, let's see. We're going to need a Pokemon with a lot of HP. Kind of want to use Tornado in this, but to me, it looks like... Yeah, we need to use a combination of speed and power. So, let's go with uh, good old buddy, uh, Godzilla, Godzilla. Poliswag might be a Pokemon we might use, but... No, I don't really think so. Let's go with Kid Thunder. Of course, we got this guy from Pokemon Crystal. And, uh, let's see could use Patrick but there is a bit of an issue there is a trainer that likes to use an electrode and that right there really gets at me so we need to go with somebody like Thrash right here now let's see if I have Smasher in this I know I don't I think I have it in Pokemon Stadium 2 and wow look at all these other Pokemon that I could be using hell I could be using Mewtwo kinda wanna use them but yeah that won't be until later on right here. So, yeah, we're going to have to... Oh, God. This is a very tough decision right here, guys, because these guys, these Pokemon trainers are no joke. Mew to Uno right here does have a nice defense. And... Yeah, okay. So, let's see. I kind of want to use them. So, you know what? Screw it. Let's go with Mew to Uno. Let's go with... You know, the... Let's see, we could use this guy. But you know what? Let's go with Thrasher. Just for this... Actually, you know what? Yeah, we could use Thrasher. And, uh, yeah, let's go right ahead and see what happens right here. Because, uh, yeah. Anywho, we're going to be taking on Judo Boy. And he does have a nice collection of Fighting-type Pokemon. Poison-type Pokemon and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and use the, you know, the regular Pokemon that we can use to beat this guy. And that's uh, Ultra Psycho. An Ultra Psycho Sweep. So, here we go, guys. Another crack at this uh, Cinnabar Island gym. And, of course, he comes out with King. So, this right here should be easy, hopefully. And uh, let's go with a Psychic Attack. Alrighty. Psychic Attack. Let's go. Right now. And this takes care of Nito King. Say goodbye. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty. The word go. Oh, yes. We are in for a good battle. Not really. Okay, so who's next? And yes, he is coming out with a Primeape. This guy is fast, but it is very, very weak against Psychic type Pokemon. So why even bother? Let's go with another Psychic Attack right here. Finish him. Yeah, buddy. And there goes Primeape. I sorry, I sorry. 
There we go. Okay, so who is Nyx right here in this challenge? Hopefully he doesn't. He hopefully he doesn't come out with a Raticate right here. And well, he comes out with Machamp. And we all know how weak Machamp is to Psychic type Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and finish this guy off with a Psychic attack. Let's go. Bye bye. And just like that, Machamp has been defeated. Now, the game kind of, like, it, the game slightly paused just a little bit. It kind of scared me. I was like, damn, Machip actually survived? <laughs> Not really. Okay, so that is another Pokemon down. And we take no hits whatsoever. Yes, we did pick out uh, Muta Uno just for this situation. But it looks like to us that we're going to actually uh, move on right here. Now, this guy is going to be a little tricky because he does come out with uh, Water-type Pokemon, too, that are Psychic-type capabilities. His Hypno is a B-I-T-C-H, because he likes to hip use Hypnosis and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and use Hydra in the beginning. Kit Thunder right here. And you know what? Let's finish it off with Godzilla, because Psychic-type Pokemon, yeah, they do have a Bug-type weakness, but what kind of Bug-type moves are there? There's only one. So let's go with phys Physicality, and of course he comes out with a slow bro, no biggie, because I do have a good move for this guy, and that is Thunderbolt. And, uh, well, in my first try, we actually defeated this guy with just Hydra, and look at that. That's a very good hit, and here he comes with a Psychic Attack. Oh god. Slow bro just, yeah, he just looks... He just looks empty and all that stuff. Look at that, the blank stare and everything. So, here we go. Thunderbolt. Come on, idiot shit. And that's another good hit right there. Nearly takes out Slow Bro. And so, we're going to endure one more hit right here. And that does uh, that. Now, we... Yeah, there is kind of a big situation right there. Of course, Hydra Special went down. So... Any psychic type move will actually defeat us, but luckily for us, we do have a Thunderbolt. That takes care of that. Slowbro has been defeated. Okay. Come on. Come out with another water type Pokemon. Please. I am begging you. And here he comes out with, um, yep, another water type Pokemon. And it looks like to me this guy is going to beat us. Ah, eh, screw it. Let's go for the Thunderbolt because, of course, Starmie is a little faster than us. Please miss, 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 miss! And it missed. Okay, so we are lucky right now. We can get one good hit on this guy. And here it is. A good hit. Okay, so... Come on. Miss again. Please miss again so we can paralyze you. Please miss. Miss. And yes, we... Okay, so we're lucky. Okay, here we go. Another Thunder Attack. Thunderbolt, I should say. And we get an advantage right here because it's now paralyzed, hopefully, for us. This will actually defeat him. So here we go. Thunderbolt for the win. And... The, oh, good God. It survived right here. And, well, third time is the charm. And it missed again. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. All righty. So we're surviving, guys. Don't worry, we're surviving. Oh my god. So there it is, guys. Thunderbolt, finish this guy off. Okay, so it looks like we've been lucky so far. But to me, it kind of feels like we won't be if we keep, well, if we get hit one last time right here. And here comes a Polyrath. Okay, so I don't think it has a Psychic type move. Or it probably does. It's a Psychic type trainer. Come on. So, let's go ahead and hit at this guy as many times as possible with a Thunderbolt. And this one gives it a good chunk. And here comes a Hydro Pump. And, uh, well, yeah, it's not that effective, but it does lower our HP right here. So, let's go again. Thunderbolt, finish this guy off. Please do it. I dare you. And, well, nearly takes him out. I'm a little upset about that. So here comes another Hydro Pump. And that takes out... That takes out our Hydra. So he served his purpose. This guy is actually stupid enough to come out with uh, all Water-type Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and go with Kid Thunder right here. Alrighty, Kid Thunder. Let's do this. Let's go for Thunder Punch. Alrighty, and who's flexing more? Of course, it's Kid Thunder. 
from Pokemon Crystal. And there goes Rapensa. Oh, yes. Not flexing anymore, huh? No, sir. Okay. So there it is, guys. We defeated the next trainer, and that is a Psychic. And, well, we're going to be going up against Nerd right here. And this guy, he is no slouch. So there it is, guys. Another victory for us. Bam. Let us continue. Now, the deal with this guy is that he likes to kamikaze you. He likes to sacrifice two of his Pokemon with Explosion and Self-Destruct. So you really do need a Pokemon that is beefy in this one. And, uh, oh, crud. Ah, oh, crud. Okay, so this is a tough one. This is a very, very tough one. So we're going to go with Thrasher, Ultra Psycho, and I kind of want to go with... Hmm. Hmm. This one's going to be a tough one right here. Who is man enough to take on this guy? Okay, Thrasher, Ultra Psycho, because he's going to come out with a uh, with an, an Electrode right here, so... Do not want to give him that advantage. So it's either down to Kit Thunder or Mew De Uno. Hmm. Screw it. We got to go with the guy that, that's taking us over here. Or actually, you know what? Hold on. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's go with Mew De Uno. Mainly because I, ha I have a feeling he might come out with a Rock-type Pokemon. So here we go. We're going to Thrasher. And remember, this guy does like to use Kamikazes. And, well... I thought, oh, well, I was incorrect about this one. So let's go with a thrash attack. And, well, we are faster than this guy, but again, he likes to use self destruct and explosion. And that one is a critical hit. And here comes the psychic attack. Crap baskets. Yeah, that right there did not pan out the way I thought it would. God damn it! Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's go with Mew De Uno. This one is ridiculous right here. Should have came out with uh, Godzilla. But this guy's playing with our emotions right now. So Mew does have a move to defeat this guy, and that is Fly Attack. So let's go. Let's get fast. Fly and evade that explosion attack that he might use. And I was correct. Holy crap. It missed, and he kills himself. We live to fight another day. Yes, sir. Look at that. Okay, so that is that right there. And Mew De Uno is still flying. And here he comes out with Golem. And I was correct about this one right here. And if... Okay, so for me, it looks like this guy is going to go with an explosion again. And yes, I was correct. Holy crap. Okay, so like I said, guys, he likes to kamikaze you. And this one was a critical hit. So this takes out my Mewtwo or my Mew De Uno. And he takes himself out. So now it's down to one Pokemon. And as the rules state, he can't use self destruct on his last Pokemon. So it looks like to me it's come down to Ultra Psycho and whoever he comes out with. And yes, I was correct. He comes out with an Electrode. Alrighty, it's down to this. Electrode has always been the. Oh crap. Yeah, he's always been the guy that just pisses me off, and yeah, we get hit right here. Let's go, Psychic Attack. Come on. Finish him. And yes, okay, so it looks like we're going to win this one right here. If all goes well, please do not use another, or, oh well, please don't paralyze us. Come on, be cool. And yes, we survive. Electrode looks like it's your last fight right here. Look at this. Psychic attack. And there it goes. Suck on those nuts. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So we survived. <laughs> we survived. It was down to the last Pokemon trainer, or Pokemon right here. And, well, his Kamikaze tactics did not work. And now we're going to be going up against Blaine, the Cinnabar Island gym leader. This guy is going to be tough because, uh, yeah, his Pokemon are, are tough. They're pretty tough. They are tough. They are tough like a tiger. And, uh, well, yeah, we're going to have to think strategic like right here. And, well, let's see. Hmm. Screw it. Three different typings. 
We're gonna go with Hydra mainly because of the water typing. Hopefully he doesn't come out with any normal types. And well, I was correct. He comes out with a fire type, and that is Charizard himself. Let's finish this guy off. Come on. Us first, us first. God damn it. This is the move that really just pisses me off, and it's a slash attack, because it's always a critical hit for some odd reason. So here we go, Surf Attack. And this one's super effective, and it nearly takes out its Charizard. So let's go right ahead and finish this guy off one last time. Come on. Stay. Ah, crap. Here we go, sir. Okay, another critical hit, which is bugging the crap out of me. The sooner we take out Charizard, the, you know, the better we'll be right here. And here we go. Surf Attack. Finish this is this guy off. Oh, yeah. Down and out. One man destroys everybody. So there we go. Who is next? And please don't let it be Arcanine. And it is a Magmar. So we now have a good advantage. There is Butthead himself. Looking all buttheaded and everything. So let's go with the Surf Attack. Come on. We are. What the hell? How is he faster than us? This irritates me to no end, guys. How is Magmar faster than Hydra? I want to know that. So here we go. Surf Attack. Takes out a huge chunk out of his HP. It looks like we're not going to survive this one, but it's no biggie because, uh, well, there's a Psychic Attack, and uh, that right there settles it for me. I am not going to be using Nino King right here because, yes, I completely forgot Magmar can learn Psychic. So let's go to the man, the myth, the legend, Ultra Psycho. Yeah, buddy. Ultra Psycho. Ready to go. Okay. We are faster. We are stronger. Let's go with the Psychic Attack, and yes, we are faster. Oh, yes. Eat this. Psychic Attack. There goes Magmar, and now it's down to one Pokemon, and... May I say, we do have a, a good advantage right here. We got two Pokemon, one that can actually beat this guy, and here he comes out with a Rapidash. Obviously, Rapidash is a little quicker than Ultra Psycho, but... This could actually help us out, so let's go right ahead and... Uh, yeah, we are faster! Okay, so here we go, Psychic Attack. And, uh, look at that. Takes almost half its HP right there. So here comes a Stomp Attack. Going physical, and... Uh, okay, alrighty. This is it, guys. Third time is the charm. Throwing out that peace sign. Eat shit, Rapidash. There we go. Psychic Attack. For the win, who's victorious? That's right, me. So there you go, guys. We defeated the Cinnabar Island gem, and good God, was it tough. Was it very, very tough, and yeah, it was. So there it is. Blaine has been defeated. That is seven badges in all. And, uh, well, we got one more battle to go, and that is Giovanni himself from the Viridian City gem and it has opened so it's come to this guys we got one more gym battle before we go into the pokemon league and uh well we got a lot of stuff to do right here so stay tuned guys in the next episode yes we will be going through uh giovanni's place hopefully to beat him in all that crud but yeah i hope hopefully we won't you know struggle like we did right here in the cinnabar island gym so again thank you guys for watching i will see you guys next time